All right, guys. So what's going on? Nathan Ray here, back with another video. And this one, we're going to talk about how to train legs with an injury, in specific, an injury that kind of prevents you from squatting. I, uh, I, I have a tendon in my knee. It's not torn, but it's stressed to the point where I can't really squat or bend down with it too much. So I'm going to show you some exercises today that will kind of uh, let you still train legs without really stressing out that injury or that area, depending on what your injury is. So first exercise we'll look for is uh, banded walks or hip circles, depending on who you are or what, what you're using. But anyway, let's start this off, guys. So basically the focus of today is pretty much glutes, hamstrings, and calves. Everything I can do without squatting, everything I'm working around the knee, because I have one good knee, but it's starting to get stressed because it's taking all the pressure. So this leg workout is basically a way to isolate everything without squatting. And uh, my dog, Albert, yeah. aka Make It Easy on YouTube, Make It Look Easy, is gonna be up next. So this next one, we're going to superset, we're going to throw it in between the uh, seated adductors. We're going to go for a RDL. The band, you don't really need it around your knee. It's just there so we can move back and forth between the sets pretty easily. So uh, yeah, let's get into it, guys. So from here, we're going to get into a kettlebell swing, and we're going to superset that with the mountain climber. I'm not really sure how many we're going to go for, but we're for three sets of each. No, you're good, you're good. So we're going to go for three sets of each, kettlebell swing and a mountain climber. And uh, yeah, let's get into it, guys. Shoulders. There you go. And repeat that. Okay. 
But it's not really a squat. It's like you're leaning forward. And stand up straight. There you go. And stand up all the way straight. There. Alright, what's going on guys? So from here we're going to be on to glute bridges or hip thrusts depending on who you are and what you call them. So we're kind of bringing the workout almost to a close. we got a couple more things left. This is one of our last ones. Don't roast me on my exercise order here guys. I don't usually do chest glutes and hamstrings. So cut me some slack. But alright, let's get into this. and no music playing out loud. So yeah, this is what we do in between sets, guys. Uh, DJ and uh, dance break. You guys should freestyle. What you should do is freestyle before every workout section. Thanks for all the help. Oh, hey, it's time. So we're gonna finish off the workout here. We're gonna finish out with 50 jump ropes. Trying to take it easy on the knee. I'm probably not even really supposed to be jumping rope, but I'm bored, so we're gonna jump rope anyway. We're gonna finish out with 50 jump rope, 30 cab raises. All right. All right, guys. So that brings us to a close. Thank you so much for watching this video and let me know if you like this style of video where I jump back and forth between doing the exercises and talking and uh, actually showing stuff in like kind of an edited kind of style. Let me know if you like that or if you like how I've been doing it before where I kind of just do a talk in the beginning and an edited video. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This has been How to Train Legs with a Knee Injury and we might even do a volume two of this if you like it or any more of these styles of videos. But anyway, from Ray, thank you guys for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh,